This is a tale that you humans have passed down through uncounted generations. It tells of a war of unmatched scale and ferocity, the likes of which would never be seen again. One dark, fateful day, the earth cracked wide and malevolent forces rushed forth from the fissure. They mounted a brutal assault upon the surface people, driving the land into deep despair. They burnt forests to ash, choked the land's sweet springs, and murdered without hesitation. They did all this in their lust to take the ultimate power protected by her grace, the goddess. The power she guarded was without equal. Handed down by gods of old, this power gave its holder the means to make any desire a reality. Such was the might of the ultimate power that the Old Ones placed it in the care of the goddess. To prevent this great power from falling into the hands of the evil swarming the lands, the goddess gathered the surviving humans on an outcropping of Earth. She sent it skyward, beyond the reach of the demonic hordes, beyond even the clouds. With the human safe, the goddess joined forces with the land dwellers and fought the evil forces, sealing them away. At last, peace was restored to the surface. This is a tale that you humans have told for many ages, generation to generation. But there are other legends, long hidden away from memory, that are intertwined with this tale. Now, a new legend bound to this great story stands ready to be revealed. A legend that will be forged by your own hand, or hoof. Heard, welcome to The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD for the Nintendo Switch. Of course, this was a Zelda game originally on the Nintendo Wii about 10 years ago or so around there. I never got the chance to play it, but it always looked really fun. I know that it was really controversial at the time. There were a lot of people who did not like it. So it's interesting to see now that it's re-released how people feel about it now. I've heard they've fixed and updated a lot of things of the game. So this should be a really fun series. I always love Zelda games. Of course, I absolutely loved Breath of the Wild. We put over a hundred episodes in that series and we've of course played the legend of zelda uh link to the past as well as link's awakening remastered for the switch we've played a lot of zelda here and we're about to play even more so with that being said let's get started with the legend of zelda skyward sword hd Whoa, I guess we're starting on the surface? Like the one we just read about? Oh my gosh. I guess maybe this is retelling what we already just read through. Whoa, oh my gosh, he does not look friendly. I'm sure his dentist makes a killing now. He's not happy. So I guess those are the demonic beasts that have been roaming the, the land. Nintendo presents. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword This is cool, this is like a movie. Oh 
Whoa! I love how bright and colorful and vibrant it is up here. A lot better than the surface. These guys are cool. Whoa. Oh, wow, and they're riding them. Okay, well, that one wasn't... No, he was. Okay, I thought he just jumped off. It's like maybe they could just fly themselves. Wow, it's really pretty. Oh, is that Zelda? Aw. So I guess they deliver mail. Oh, it's Link. Hey. No, oh, no, these guys again. What's going on? Rise, Link. The time has come for you to awaken. You are fated to have a hand in a great destiny, and it will soon find you. The time has come for you to awaken. Link. All right, I guess we've been dreaming? More like a nightmare. <laughs> oh! Ah! What a rude awakening. Yikes. Well, hello. That's that's definitely a, a very functional alarm clock. See ya. Hey, sleepyhead. I know how much you like to sleep in, so I'm guessing this letter will be your alarm clock this morning. Did I guess right? Yes, you did. Rise and shine, Link. Today's the wing ceremony. You promised to meet me before it starts. Remember? You better not keep me waiting, Zelda. I said that was Zelda. <sighs> All right, so I guess we gotta help her out. Night Academy. Whoa, look at this, we're playing. So I think that this game is definitely a lot more similar to the other 3D Zelda games, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, uh, Twilight Princess, more than it would be Breath of the Wild. But I know that there are apparently some similarities between this and Breath of the, Breath of the Wild. You found the blue rupee, it's worth five rupees. Better drop it in your wallet for now. I don't know if we found it if it's in a chest of our belongings, but hey, Cool. Oh, look at this. I can look around. Use R to move, move the, the cursor to look around. Press, you can press Y to center the cursor. Press it to stop looking around. Interesting. Move the left analog stick. Press ZL to reset the camera position right behind you. Hold B while moving to dash. This also allows you to scurry up walls. Roll. Press L while dashing to do a forward roll. Gotcha. So that's pretty useful. I don't think we can dash indoors. That's fine. But yeah, I know that the original game, of course, was built a lot on motion controls. So I'm wondering how they translated that because I'm playing on a controller right now. I don't think it'd be very good to use motion controls while I'm trying to sit down. Hold L and tilt. Gotcha, okay. So you can't move the camera too much. You can't move it at all if you don't hold the L button. Gotcha. Hello. Yeah. Morning, Link. This is Pippin. So, today's the wing ceremony. Are you ready? All I'm saying is everyone else is out practicing at the plaza, but you seem pretty relaxed about the whole thing. Of course, that crimson loft wing of yours is something special. I'd feel pretty confident riding him too. My bird won the last ceremony, but even I don't think he could beat that red terror of yours. Of course, a bird's true speed in a race always comes down to the skill of the rider. I'm something of a bird researcher around here, so, you know, if you ever find yourself in need of some bird expertise, come see old Pippet. All right, well, Pippet seems nice. Let's talk to this guy. Oh, I guess it's a teacher of some sort. 
Hello. Mm. This is Owlin. Hey, Link. The day of the wing ceremony is finally upon us. It's time to put what we've learned to use, all those practical skills I taught you, and all the academic prowess instructor Horwell taught you. While we're at it, do you remember how to look around using up? Press up when you want to take a look at your surroundings. Yep, I've been doing that. Don't know if there's too much to look at. Hello. Well, this is cool. It's like a first person view. I'm not seeing too much around here, so I think we're gonna skedaddle. I could go upstairs. This is the room we just came out of, yeah. Yeah, it is, okay. I love how everything has sort of a watercolor look to it. This game feels straight out of a storybook. So I suppose I could check out Groose. Oh, are these other people's bedrooms? Probably shouldn't be perusing in them then. Count and stretch. Yeah, they're all locked. What is that noise? Fledge. It sounded like somebody was laughing. Oh no, it's this guy. This is Fledge, okay. Good morning, Link. Today's a big wing ceremony, right? I wanted to fly too, but I I didn't make the cut, so I'm stuck back here at the academy. Plus, I've got to move these barrels over to the kitchen. I was hoping to at least be able to cheer you on, Link, but I guess that's the way it goes. Go out there and wow them, buddy. All right, well thank you, Fledge, I appreciate it. So I'm guessing this is the way outside. I would like to adventure a little bit more before we do all that. We got the restroom. Always good to go before you gotta go. Uh, <laughs> all right, we could just sit there. <laughs> it made the flushing noise too. All right, well, we, we went. Uh, anything else going on around here? Hmm, not too much over this way. There's like a nice kitchen. Oh, hello. Mrs. Hunyan, where in the clouds is that Fledge boy? He's supposed to be bringing me the barrels. Sometimes I just don't know what's going on in that boy's head. Well, I think he's trying. They might just be a little bit too heavy for him. Might need an extra hand. Guess he could like knock it over and roll it in. Might be a better way to do it. Anyways, let's check up, check out upstairs. See if there's anything to do there before we move on. Link! If you're heading over to the plaza, the quickest way out is the way is out the door on the ground floor. The eggs on the top floor are still locked, so you obviously can't get out there. <sighs> What's taking the lunch lady so long? I'm going to have a word with her later. Well, the lunch lady is being held up by Fledge, and Fledge is being held up by heavy barrels, so you guys will figure it out. It's logistical issues. Nothing we're worrying about. Whoa. This looks so cool. Every Zelda game has just such memorable environments. This is the Skyloft. And it's also so fitting because we just got recently a Breath of the Wild 2 trailer, which shows that we'll be exploring islands in the sky once again in that game. So this feels like a pretty cool build up to that. Oh, I can pick these up and throw them, or not. Oh, there's a bug in there. Can I catch a bug? Not quite. I don't know if I can, press A to put the item down, tilt R and then throw it with ZR. Oh, I see. So I could roll it like a bowling ball, or I could pick it up, throw it overhead. Oh no, my rupee! <laughs> I threw it off the island, never to be seen again. I do like the, the bowling motion, that's fun. So we got one rupee, you got a green rupee. It's worth just one rupee, so collect lots of them. And we got a blue one, which I think we've gotten before. Okay, that was fun. Hmm, can't go a good out there. What is this? Bird statue. Oh, this is where I can save. Sounds useful. Yep, let's save on our new adventure. Let's go. Saved, cool. That's where we just came out of. Hey, Link, up here. Oh, Torwa, this is our other teacher. Good morning to you, Link. Today is finally the day of the long-awaited wing ceremony. Are you feeling ready? No, oh, I just remembered. There's something I'd like to ask you about. Target me, and we can have a quick chat. Aim at your target and hold ZL. Hey, buddy. Ooh. Excellent. Always remember you can target someone to talk to them easily. 
And even when there isn't anything to target, it's a convenient way to quickly face your view forward. Oh, but it's a little silly to carry on a conversation from this distance. Why don't you come join me up here? How am I doing that? Oh, with the boxes. You should be able to climb up those if you dash up the top of the wooden box, don't you think? Then you can make that jump fairly easily. Try climbing up here. Okay, so while we're holding B, we can run. Oh, and there's a stamina bar. I'm starting to see how this could have been similar to Breath of the Wild. Whoop, there we go. So, what are you up to? Rushing to get some last minute bird riding practice in, in this morning, Link? Oh, you have some of the meat? Ah, Zelda's waiting for you, is she? Perfect timing, then. You see, Zelda's father, Headmaster Gaporia, has a pet named Mia. And, well, she scampered off again. Where would that be? Look! Oh no, <laughs> poor Mia. Do you see her? The Headmaster is so busy working with Zelda preparing for the ceremony. I thought that maybe I should feed her, but the ceremony is about to start and I just put on a fresh set of clothes and, well, you see. Will you, will you help me out and go retrieve Mia for me? I'm on it, we can help. Ooh. Fantastic, so you'll do it? I know you're in a hurry, so I really appreciate you taking your time to help. You should be able to climb up somewhere over there. If you hang off that ledge there, you can climb onto the roof from the other side. I'm terribly sorry, but I know you're quite the climber. I really do appreciate it. Sounds great, I don't mind helping. What is it, Link? Okay, I don't think he's gonna say anything now. If you dash at the wall from here, you'll be able to get the hang, get or be able to hang from the edge. Do be careful when you're hanging off the, the ledge and keep an eye on your stamina gauge. Okay, well, we definitely don't wanna fall. <laughs> but I think we'll be okay. So yeah, we can sort of just scurry over. Getting closer, getting closer. There we go. And I suppose I could just make that jump. That was cool. And can I push this? Yes, I can. Just gotta remember that I can change a camera, I just have to hold the, the, the left button, left trigger. Hello. Oh, Mia's so cute. I love Mia's ears. Thought it was more like a cat, but now that I'm closer to it, it's a cat mixed with a koala or something like that. Interesting. Okay, so where are we bringing you? Ooh. Nice work. You've brought her back safe and sound. Sorry for the trouble you to, for troubling you with this. I know you're busy, Link. I suppose I should feed Mia now. Please tell the headmaster that we found his pet. He should be up by the statue of the goddess. I believe Zelda is there with him, so you should hurry along. Oh yes, I should give you a reward. It's not much, but please take this, or don't tell the others. Oh nice, we got a red rupee. It's worth 20 rupees. Don't spend it all in one place. Okay, awesome. See, I guess we're heading over this way for right now. Can save again if we wanted to. I might as well. Never know when it might come and be useful, so. There we go. Hello. Ooh. This is J Jakamar? Jakamar, I think. Might be Jakamar, I'm not sure. Morning, Link. How's life? Did you manage to get even a wink of sleep last night? Figured you might have been tossing and turning all night thinking about the big ceremony today. What am I doing? No, just fixing this gate here. It's been squeaky lately, and we can't have that on the day of the ceremony. Hey, you haven't already forgotten to send your prayers to the goddess this morning, have you? Just face the bird statue over there and say a short prayer to save your progress. As you know, those bird statues are all over Skyloft. It's about time you get in the habit of stopping at a statue every time you run by one. <laughs> a prayer in the time saves nine, if you know what I'm saying. All right, well, luckily we do. What is this? You got a stamina fruit. This peculiar fruit replenishes your stamina gauge. Well, that's useful. We'll definitely have to use that at some point. But for now, we're good just to stomp up these steps. Oh, we got more of them. Hmm. Oh, what's down here? I wonder. It seems like a lot of stuff. I will leave it for later. I wonder if, am I actually holding these in my inventory? Who knows? Oh, and there's Zelda. K 
can't wait to ride the birds out. They seem like so much fun. Hey, good morning, Link. I'm glad to see my Loftwing got you out of bed. I was pretty sure you'd sleep in and forget to meet me this morning. <laughs> but look at this instrument, and look at this outfit. They're mine to use today in the ceremony, since I'll be playing the role of the goddess. That's cool. Aren't they beautiful? Especially this instrument. They tell me it's just like the one the goddess was said to have in the legends. Seems to be a small harp of some sort. It sounds gorgeous too. I asked father about it and he says it's called a harp. Hey, there we go. <laughs> and look at these clothes. I made this wrap myself and we get to use it in today's ceremony. Between the harp and this outfit, I'm going to make a great goddess today. I got you up early this morning because I wanted to be the first, I wanted you to be the first to see me like this, Like, Oh, that's sweet. So, how do I look? Nice costume, great, or uh, you look great. <laughs> Why would I even consider the other options? <laughs> I think so too, but it's nice to know you agree. Thanks, Link. Of course. Ah, there you are, Zelda. Are you all prepared for today's ceremony? Oh, hello, father. Ah, oh, Link, you're here too, outstanding. It's encouraging to see you up so early, given your capacity for sleep. No doubt today's ceremony had you too excited to close your eyes for once. If you win today's ceremonial race, you'll get to participate in the post-race post ritual with Zelda, so give it your best out there. Yes, about that. Father, I don't know if he can do it. Recently, Link hasn't been practicing much at all for the ceremony. And even when he's out riding his Loftwing, He's just lazily gliding around, probably daydreaming. I don't know what he's thinking. He's going out, going to have to be in perfect control of his bird to win today. Well, maybe Link's a natural, doesn't have to worry about it. No need to worry yourself, Zelda. Though you may have a point, today's wing ceremony tests the skill of the rider as well as his bond to his bird. Victory will not come easily. And as you pointed out, I haven't seen him practicing as hard as some of the other students but you've known him since you were both very little. You should know him better than to fret about him. You see, Link and his Loftling are, share a special connection. I've never seen anything quite like it. As you know, each of us in Skyloft are is but one half of a pair. We are only made whole by our Loftwings, the guardian birds that the goddess bestows upon each of us as a symbol of her divine protection. When we are young, every one of us meets our Loftwing under the great statue of the goddess. It's quite a big moment, and I'm sure you recall. Ah, but the first meeting between Link and his Loftwing was extraordinary. The bird that came to him was a crimson Loftwing. It is a breed so rare we were sure for some time that it had been vanished from the line. Wow. Yes, and the boy and his bird seemed to share a profound connection from the moment they met. Do you recall when Link and that Loftwing of his first met? What a sight. The little boy just hopped on that bird and gracefully flew away without even a moment of instruction. They were meant for each other. And judging by how jealous you were that day, I'd say the friendship he shared with his bird didn't go unnoticed by you, my dear. Aww. So speaking of which, where's our Loftwing? Uh, ah, uh, but who can blame you? I'm sure you weren't the only one envious of the power bond shared by Link and his bird. Anyone who is a part of something special is bound to catch some nasty lookers sooner or later. <laughs> uh -huh. 
This contest is nothing to laugh at, Father. This ceremony is part of the final test for those training to become Knights of Skyloft. If Link doesn't fly fast enough during the race, what if Link messes up his big chance? What if he's not allowed to become a knight? Calm down, my dear. It will be fine. Honestly, it's almost as though you become a completely different person when you worry about Link. Listen, Link, you better fly your heart out today. At the very least, you need to squeeze in a little practice at time before the race. <laughs> Come on, you'll thank me later. All right, well, off we go. Here we are, go on now. Jump off the ledge and call your loft Link. It's almost time for the ceremony, so try to practice seriously for once. Hmm? Oh yeah? You can't sense your bird out there? Oh, I get it. You're trying to weasel out of having to practice. Nice try, but you're not fooling me. Uh, I don't like this. <laughs> Off you go. Oh, no. Hey. Okay, Link, go ahead. Just press down to call your loft wing. Oh, no. I don't think it's working. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This bird sure is taking a long time to get here. <laughs> Something's wrong. Oh, wow. She's jumping down to save us. That is so cool. Hang in there, Link. I've got you. Oh, wow. That was actually quite easy. Huh. I wonder where our loft wing is then. Are you two all right? <laughs> Everybody has a lot of breath. I'm sorry, friend. I didn't mean to push you so hard. You didn't spring your wing, did you? This is very odd, Link. What could have possibly happened to your loft wing? For a bird to ignore the call of his master, it's unheard of. And you still can't sense your bird nearby, eh, Link? It, this is quite the problem, especially considering the wing ceremony is about to start. Link, when you said you couldn't sense your loft wing, well, I should have believed you. I'm sorry. It's okay. I mean, everything's fine now. That's what matters. I need to send my own loft wing, so I'll catch up with you later. You better go on ahead and see if you can find where your bird is gone. This could be serious. Hope our loft wing's okay. Sounds like it's time. Ooh. My, how did it get to be so late? If I recall correctly, this year instructor Horwell is presiding over the ceremony. Link, you should go explain the situation to him and see if he's willing to delay the race a little so that you can find your bird. I'm on it. <laughs> but father, you're the headmaster of the academy. If Link has instructor asks Instructor Horwell, he'll probably just come talk to you about it. Ha, oh. <laughs> quite true. As usual, you, you make an extra excellent point, my dear. Very well, I'll explain the situation to him myself. Link, run along and tell Instructor Horwell to come see me in my quarters. Okay. Either way, we'll go and talk to Mr. Horwell, Professor Horwell. Mm. Don't worry, Link. I'll be sure to explain your predicament to Instructor Horwell. Instructor, not professor. <laughs> Got all of his names wrong. Go find him and ask him to meet me in my quarters. While we chat, why don't you go ask some of the other students about your bird? I seem to recall a few of them we got were gathered at the plaza. Down at the south of Skyloft, that place where the X mark is the plaza. We'll be holding the, cer the wing ceremony there today. All right, right there. Where are we? That's the bazaar. That's the Night Academy. This is much bigger than I thought. We're way over here. Gotcha. Mm. Have you read a, ma a map before? You can press minus any time to see a map of the area. Remember, press minus. Okay, so as you can see, we're over here. We gotta go all the way down this way. And I suppose down that way, make our way to the plaza. What about Zelda? Link. I'm going to tend to my bird and make sure she, he's not hurt. I'll catch up with you later. Go and see if anyone in town knows what happened to your loft way. Will do. In the meantime, I don't know if there's anything 
to find around here at the moment. Probably not. I'm sure that we'll be spending plenty of time adventuring and unlocking things, collecting things, all sorts of stuff as the game goes on. Right now though, I'm a bit more focused on the main story. Okay, so for right now, we just gotta worry about going the way we came. Maybe talk to everybody on our way back as well, just to make sure if we haven't, if they haven't seen our bird. Is something wrong? What's the big hurry? What? Your loft wing is missing. But I just saw him. Gruce's bird was chasing off after your feathered fella. Which way? Uh, I think, uh, well, to be honest, I don't really know where they went. Huh, so Gruce. Don't think we've met Gruce yet. Hey there. What's wrong, Link? You're looking a little pal. What? Your loft wing isn't missing? How strange and troubling. Do you think you can find him? Are you going to start looking for him now? How will you make it back in time to fly in the ceremony? I don't understand what kind of question that is. If we don't make it back in time, we wouldn't be able to fly anyways because we don't have our, lock, our loft wing. It looks like your, your participation in the ceremony hinges on feather or not. You can find that bird in time. Excuse me. I see. So the headmaster has summoned me? All right, then. I'll go speak with him immediately. I still owe you for helping me out earlier, so don't worry about the ceremony for now. You focus on finding your loft one. Will do. Oh, no. Where did Mia go? <laughs> I hear Mia. Don't see Mia. Don't men open doors for a lady anymore? How long am I supposed to stand here waiting for a little chivalry? Ugh. No, oh, it's you, Link. Say, you look all flustered. Did something happen? What? You can't find your loft wing. Um, I don't know what to tell you. I've been here at school the whole time. Hmm, all right, that's fine. I guess we could go inside. Because we haven't been to this upstairs portion before. Uh, That other guy stopped us. There's a bath in here. We could go to the bathroom again. Don't know if there's much else to do in here. Oh, this is like a proper bath. Well, there we go. Can I pick these up? Yep. Now these ones... How do I do it again? Hold B. Oh, I see. That's right. Dig. Got it. Don't know if these will have much for me. Now's the time to find out, isn't it? Okay. I really do feel like the controls are going to take some time to get used to, but hopefully over that time, we'll get really good with them. So this is Zelda's room. Can't go inside. Start your horror well. Interesting that Zelda has a room here. Does her father? I figured she'd live with her father. Headmaster Gaypora. Yeah, I guess so. We all live together. It might not be a bedroom, though. It might be more, as you can see here, an office. Now I'm the headmaster. I suppose there's not much I can do in here. That's okay. Let's skedaddle. And, hmm. Is, uh, there you are, Pip, Pippin. You're not still wandering around the academy, are you? What? Your loft wing won't come when you call it? Why would a guardian bird not come when it's called? You know, I've never heard of this ever happening before, so I can't even tell you what you're doing wrong. But a good senior never hangs an un underclassman out to dry. We'll figure this out together. You go to the plaza and ask people there if they know anything. In the meantime, I'll ask around here. Well, I'm going to ask around here too. <laughs> I'm a little curious to see what everybody says. Hmm. What's wrong, Link? Your bird won't come to you when you call it? For a loft one to ignore its master's call, something must be very wrong. Have you talked to Instructor Horwell about this? He's, had, he's leading today's ceremony and should be made aware of what's going on. I see. Well, if the headmaster is aware of the situation, then I'm sure he'll delay the ceremony for you. You just worry about finding that bird of yours. I'm trying my best. Figure I might as well talk to everybody because you never know who might have some advice for us. So we have, uh, was it? It was Fletch. 
Hey, what's wrong, Link? You don't know where your bird is? What are you talking about, Link? You caught it, but it didn't even come to you? So that means, oh, I knew it. Huh? Oh, uh, nothing. Really, I was, uh, talking to myself. You know, like I do. That's weird. It seems like the other classmates, they know something. They definitely know something, because the other girl that was outside of the door, she seemed a little weird as well. That's concerning. Hope that they're not related to why our bird's disappearing. Why can I not throw this? I'm pressing the wrong button, that's why. There we go. What do you think you're doing? You better clean that up. Oh, sorry. Just wanted some free stuff. Are you talking to, to me about your loft wing right now? I'm a little busy here, so buzz off. All right, all right. Don't have to be so rude. So, I think that's just about everything. Oh yeah, we don't need the restroom again. Once is enough. Okay. So I don't believe there's anything. Oh no, there might be stuff this way. I didn't go this way before. Huh. Sorry if I'm exploring absolutely everything, but I am really curious. The sparring hall is blocked off for now. As per usual with games like these, I did the same thing with Breath of the Wild. I really enjoy getting into it a lot, exploring everything, talking to everyone, getting as much of the story and information as I possibly can. But this is a whole new area, so. What does the sign say? Night of Captain. Hmm. Hello. This is Gully. Hold up, Link. Hey, hey, Link. Could you help me with something? All you have to do is dash and roll into the tree. Just like I've been doing. Dash, then, when you're in front of the tree, bam, do a roll right into it. So come on, please. Fine, just for you. While dashing, press L. Whoa! Whoa! You did it! A sky stag beetle! Wait up! And we got. I think that was a blue rupee, yeah? Oh, I don't think he caught it. But yeah, I suppose we can roll into trees, get some rewards for it. That time it didn't work. I'm pressing the wrong button again. There it is! More rupees. I do see a chest way over there as well. Don't think that's something we can get to without a, a loft wing. Hmm. Hopefully I'm not missing much. But now we're way over here. Oh cool, there's some pumpkins. I don't know what this one's about though. Roll some pumpkins around. Doesn't do too much. Hi. Hi. This is Kukiel. Hi Link, this house belongs to Kukiel. Psst, by the way, that's me. I'm gonna go play with my special friend today. It's gonna be so much fun. That's cute. There's another chest hanging out back that way. I wonder, two of them actually. Don't know how I quite get over there just yet. So let's go to Kukiel's house. Love how some more most of the music is to Ocarina of Time. <laughs> Rhina? I think Rhina. Pardon me, Link, you haven't seen Kukiel, have you? She's right outside. She's always running off without a word to anyone. I don't know what I'm going to do with her. I guess she'll never learn unless she runs into trouble one day. She's right outside though, don't worry. Not too far. Yeah, that was weird. Doesn't look like there's anything else around here. Can go rummaging through people's stuff. You really shouldn't open other people's cupboards without, uh, uh, without permission. I agree. Okay, uh, let's head out of here then. And I'm sure don't have to go into every single building. We'll meet more people as we run along. Hmm. Suppose I could have gone that way before. Yep, there he is. Hi. This is Keat. Hey Link, how's it going? The wing ceremony's about to begin, right? Remember when Pivot won the last one right at the last second? It was so close. Now that was a race. Hey, your Crimson Loftwing will be in the race, right? I'm looking forward to seeing what he can do. 
Okay, so are we still heading the right direction? We're almost there. So there's one more character hanging out I could talk to, I think. Right over this way. And then I'll turn around and interact with everybody else. Hi, Link. Nice breeze today, huh? Perfect for the ceremony. So why do, So who do you think will win today? I guess Cruz is a strong contender, but the winner will get blessed by a village girl chosen to represent the goddess. How romantic. Hopefully it's me. Guess we'll find out. Cruz is supposedly right now chasing our bird. You know, Cruz, that sure was a pain. What with all the scratching and packing. <laughs> of course it was. You thought a big crimson loft wing like that was gonna go down without a fight? This is Cruz. But we got him. I don't care how tough those birds are supposed to be. He's not getting out of that pen anytime soon, boys. <laughs> this guy doesn't actually seem all that nice. Whoa, Link, so, uh, yeah. Just how long have you been sitting there? What's your problem, anyway? Oh, wait, I got it. You're here to talk about today's race. I can see it in those dopey eyes of yours. They're pleading, oh, Gruus, can you please find it in your heart to let me win today, please? You're just desperate to win, so you can get some alone time with Zelda up on the statue of the goddess at the end of the ceremony. <laughs> well, sorry, pal. Gruus doesn't do charity for wimps. My advice, work hard in which with all of your heart, you might even be coming second. Say, come to think of it, how come I don't see your bird? Where is that scruffy pile of red feathers? I think you know more than I do. I can't imagine what would have happened to him. You think his tiny brain got confused by all the clouds and got lost? <laughs> nice hair. <laughs> Bring it on. Give him back. Huh? I've got no idea what you're talking about. You know, we're all getting tired of you, how you never let anyone forget you and Zelda go way back. You've been friends since you were kids? Big deal. It doesn't change the fact that you float through life with your head in the clouds. I guess up here we all do, don't we? Would you wake up, straighten up, and grow a backbone already? Dopes like you are dragging your honor at Academy through the mud. And just who might you be talking about? Bruce? Oh. oh. Zelda, hey, nah, it, it's, uh. Oh, oh my. <laughs> Don't even try it, Cruz. You're picking on Link again, aren't you? He's a student at the academy, like all of us. Oh. Why do you insist on bullying him around so much? Yeah, I, I suppose. You suppose? Suppose what? Oh no. I suppose you. Uh, forget it. I wasn't supposing anything, okay? What a strange guy. Okay, we're out of here, boys. Later, Link. Hope you find your bird, or else you're gonna have to sit out today's race. That could be a major setback towards knighthood. To find that bird or get real used to the taste of failure. It's your special flavor. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> they got the poses down and everything. All right, well, they didn't seem very nice. Luckily, Zelda was there to help us. I hate to say it, but I'm beginning to suspect that those blockheads had something to do with your Laughlin's disappearance. Link, those guys aren't going to help us find your bird, so we'd better start searching. I'll fly around Skyloft and see if I can spot any trace of your bird. Father said he'd talk to Instructor Horwell about delaying the, the start of the wing ceremony, so don't worry. We'll find your bird in time. Starting, Sort of starting to get an idea of why nobody wanted to tell us about what Groose was up to. I'm sure they're just as afraid of Groose as anybody else would be. Seems to be a bully. But all right, now we know Zelda's helping us, which is really cool. I'm already liking how much Zelda's a part of the story. So I wonder what we can do next. Let's check it, take a look at the map. We can go to the light tower, maybe with a good view. We could figure some stuff out. Link just about ran up that, that ladder. That was impressive. 
Okay, there's nothing around this way. So, keep climbing. Oh no, don't fall. Maybe we could get a good view and spawn our Lawfling from here. That would be good. Oh, what's this? Let's sound the goddess' song beneath the light of light's radiance unto her chosen hero shall fall a piercing ray of guidance. Huh. Seems to be some kind of clue. Oh my. Oh, okay. Fall damage is a thing in this game. Keep that in mind. I wonder if talking to anybody else will help now. We talked to you before, didn't we? What's wrong, Link? What? Your loft wing is missing? That's terrible. I was so looking forward to seeing that red boar streak through the sky. No, no, I haven't seen him. Hmm, why don't you look for him by the statue of the goddess? You'll have a good view of the whole town from way up there. The statue of the goddess is the great big statue in the north of Skyloft. It's at that place with the X mark. Wasn't that where we just were? <laughs> yep, I guess we're going back. We could go back from this way though and maybe run into a couple new people. A couple of ladies on the bridge over this way. Hello. Such a beautiful day, but we're too busy to enjoy it. Some things never change. Ooh. Isn't that the truth? The only thing my lug nut of a son is good for is getting grease on his shirt. All I do is laundry, laundry, laundry. It never ends. Mm. I hear ya, and I'm terrible at washing clothes. I wish I could get someone to do it for me. Aw, all right, well, they seem to be mid-conversation to be rude to ask them to move over, so we'll find another way around. Don't think we've been in this building before. We're about to find out. This does seem new. It's somebody's house. Hello. Hmm. Ever heard of banging your knuckles against the door? It's called knocking. Barging into somebody's house is what most people call rude. Sorry, Beatrice. Anyway, you're lucky I'm home. I'm usually over at the bazaar working at my stall, but we're closed for the wing ceremony. Most days at work, all I can think about is how bored I am, but now that I'm not at work, I'm even more bored. My life is pretty sad. Oh, <laughs> you should go out and do something then. Take a day off, explore somewhere new. I shouldn't run through other people's stuff. We should just leave. I was about to check out that cupboard again. Okay, well she seems a bit down. Maybe we can help her out at some point, but not now, gotta help ourselves. Bizarre. So this is where she works. Can we go in right now? Doesn't seem as if we can. This looks odd. Maybe that'll be something later. So I definitely can't go in there right now. I don't see too much else. So we'll keep going this way. This might be a new path. Statue of the Goddess. Or maybe we've been this way before. Oh yeah, the guy was working on the gate. Now he's not, so it's a bit of a shortcut. Hey, Link! Over here! I have some information about your loft wing. Come over here. All right, let's save real quick. You never know. Yep. Sounds good. Wait, where did he go? Wasn't he right here before? Uh, where did he go? Oh, he's down that way, gotcha. Hey there, Pippin. Maybe I'll talk to you first, Fudge. He has nothing to say. Hi, Pippin. Yeah. Hey, Link, I was just looking for you. I heard your loft wing has gone missing, so I thought I'd join in the search. And get this, when I asked Fudge what he knew, he started acting weird. Mm. I'm so sorry, Link. I really wanted to tell you, but if Cruz found it, I told you. It sounds like Cruz forced him to keep quiet about it. Go on, tell him the truth. Uh. Just a little while ago, when I was cleaning the dining hall, Cruz and his buddies came in. They didn't notice I was there and started talking about their plan to hide your loft wing. I wanted to warn you, Link, but just as I tried to sneak away, Cruz and his gang grabbed me. They said that if I told you, they'd make sure I would never be able to ride a bird ever again. 
It sounds like Gruus and his buddies had a plan to capture your bird and hide them near the waterfall. Well, near a waterfall would mean... Quick, let's take a look at your map. That's it, right there. I think it means the waterfall marked here with the ax. Gotcha, so we'll go down there instead. <sighs> Forgive me, Link, I can't help being such a coward. I'm really sorry. Aw. Okay, all is forgiven. You did your best, so you can complain about it. If you're going out to the waterfall, remember that there are some dangerous things there. Creepy, crawly things. You'll need to carry a sword. I think I saw Knight Commander go into the sparring hall a while ago. You should go ask him if you can borrow one. You think you'll make it in time, Link? I'm such a wimp. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry, it's fine. If it's something that makes you upset though, you should work on it. Bravery is always a good trait to have. So this is Commander Someone. It's e Aegis? Aegis? Hey, it's Link! So you still want to get some sword practice even though today is this wing ceremony? I'm impressed. The sword is in the back room. Go on back there and get it. I'll be here for a while, so if there's anything you don't understand about handling a sword, go ahead and ask. All right, sure, sounds good. Ooh, I suppose it'll be in here. Oh, our first chest opening. You got a practice sword. Students in the Knight Academy practice with these. It looks like it has a fairly sharp blade. Press plus at any time to look at the items you're carrying. Okay, so as you can see, we have our sword on the left there. Pretty cool. I didn't mean to slice at the door. Huh. Oh yeah? You wanna learn about how to use a sword? Yes, please. Okay, so the basics of swordsmanship. It's important to think about the direction you're swinging your sword. If you swing it vertically, you'll do a vertical slash. And if you swing sideways, you'll do a side slash. Thrust it forward to do a thrust. Next, there is more advanced technique, the spin attack. It's the perfect move for when you're surrounded by enemies. If you remember these moves, you can handle yourself in any fight. Just remember the fundamentals. Always press ZL to target an, an enemy as soon as you see it. Try getting in some good practice on those logs. If you forget how to swing your sword, you can always check the help with the right. Don't ever forget the, your fundamentals. Once you've sliced those logs, I'll set it up so you can try out our big move, or try out your big move. Okay, interesting. So let's focus on these logs. But as you can see, we can flick R in any direction, which is interesting. Oh, this one I think I need to lunge, which I guess I press the button in. So yeah, swing your sword. Flick R in the direction you want to swing your sword. Press R to thrust your sword and flick R quickly left, right, and left for a horizontal spin attack and up, down, up for a vertical spin attack. Interesting. Gotcha. Okay, I'm sort of understanding. Whoa, that's cool. I like it. So that's where this game gets interesting because originally it was a Wii game, so they had to rely on motion controls. Not using motion controls right now. That's right, Link. You really are a, a strong swordsman. Easy to teach too. You make this instructor proud. Are you ready to try and are you ready to try a spin attack? Sure, I've already tried one, but we'll try again. Great, now I'm going to surround you with logs. Use a spin attack to cut them all without moving from that spot. Oh my. So flicked right, quickly left, right, and left. Just like that. Good one! That sure looks like it felt good. So why don't we try a fatal blow to close out our session? Sure. All right, when your enemy is down, target with ZL and throw yourself at it to land a fatal blow. Do a side slash on that log. When it's down, try finishing it off with this technique. So I did that. Target with the CL flick up or down. And up. Whoa, that's cool. That's the way. A fatal blow is also an effective move to use right after you used your shield or a well-placed spin attack to knock an enemy on its back. Oh, but monsters don't stay down for long, so you'll have to land that fatal blow quick before they get up. 
So that's pretty cool. Obviously, it doesn't look like I can do it if there's no enemy around. Interesting. Ow, that hurt. Oh, that's cool though. So I can try sort of battling with this thing to practice my parrying or dodging or strafing. I like it. That's fun. That's really cool. Okay, we're gonna head out of here. Hey, Link! You can't take swords outside of the sparring hall. What do you think you're doing sneaking out with that? What? Your loftling is missing? You wanna go look for it? Well, I guess I could make an exception just this once, but remember that Skyloft is a peaceful place. Only knights carry swords. So I don't want to see you swinging around your, like it around like crazy out there. I don't want to get in a ton of trouble over this. So there's here's the deal. Make sure you get plenty of practice on these logs first. And once you get outside with that sword, only use it when you absolutely have to. Got it? All right, well, I've just now made a promise to him. We want to be good with that promise. I think we're good with the sword. I think I figured it out for the most part. Yeah. It's pretty fun though, I really enjoy it. There we go. The flicking motion is a little bit difficult at times, but I'm starting to get the hang of it. There we go. And then, oh, this is the one I need to, there we go. That's right, Link. You really are a strong swordsman. Easy to teach too. You make this search your proud. I've already done that. That was weird. Uh, okay, let's get out of here then. Hmm. What do we want to do now? I guess we gotta head this way. Always take a look at the map. Oh, I should probably talk to Pippet now that we got the sword. Will you say anything new? Listen, as an upperclassman, I've got some advice for you. There's something you should always do before you go somewhere dangerous. You should find a bird statue and send your prayers to the goddess to save your progress. Make it part of your routine. The bird statues you can pray to are marked on your map. It should be easy to find one. You think he'll make it in time, Link? Uh, I'm such a wimp, I'm so sorry. Okay, so he doesn't have anything else new to say. That's fine. Uh, so that's where we're going. Should be fine to get there, I think. It'll probably be faster. First off, if I do save. That's a good idea. But then we probably wanna climb up and go down that one staircase we just came from. Okay, we're all saved up. We climb up there, no problem. Got it. And we'll keep running. Grab some of that. And we're off. So are those ladies still covering up the bridge? Cause it's the, so that'll be a bit of a problem. Oh, nice. We got a heart. This item's life giving energy restores one heart of life, which is good. We lost some health earlier from jumping off the, the one thing. What is this room? I don't think we've seen this one. Seems to be some kind of closet. Oh, no, it's not. Hello. Uh -huh. Piper, that boy really gets me steamed. It's only time for dinner and he's nowhere to be seen. He better not be chasing bugs again. I wonder if this is the mother of the boy who taught us how to roll. <laughs> Seems like it, because he was looking for bugs. So, what else do we got going on around here? Almost it. Can break some of these, try to get more rupees out of it. Got it. Didn't get anything from it. More about the potential than anything else. So they're still over there. But that is definitely where I need to get across. Maybe I can just swim? I can swim. That's good and everything, but where am I getting out? I don't know if now is a good time to do this. I suppose there still be could be other ways to get around. Aha! What about this? There we go. Got it. Oh, who's this? Look at this thing. Who knows how long the statue has been here? And it only has one eye. Poor thing. You probably know this, but you can press up to look around. Yep get a good look at it. The fact that it only has one eye. 
Seems to be some kind of gemstone. Wonder if we can find the other one. Okay, doesn't have anything new to say. Hmm. Okay. Let's turn the camera a little bit, there we go. Is this where I'm supposed to be going? I believe so? A little hard to tell at the moment. And also, cut these up. <laughs> that's so satisfying. Whoa, that's spooky. Whoa, there he is. All right, let's go in then. Waterfall cave, beware of blood sucking monsters, no kids allowed. That's scary. But we can't let that stop us. Uh, there we go. I don't know how to swipe any lower. I don't need to. We're going in. I'm coming, buddy. Waterfall cave. Oh my. Oh, uh, they don't look friendly. Whoa. Whoa, nice. Hold on, turn around, turn around. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, I love slicing and dicing. That felt super satisfying. Even got a rupee out of that. Oh my. Got a little goopy guy. Get him out of here. We got Jelly Blob. It may look like a boring wad of gunk, but it's used to make all sorts of things. Awesome. Oh wow, we got a collection. That's cool. Hopefully we can collect them all. Whoa, watch it, buddy. Gotta watch where we're stepping around here. You can also cut the grass in classic Zelda style. Ooh, the double hit. I really like the combat so far. This is a lot of fun. I know that was sort of a big controversial thing for this game when I originally came out in the Wii is that the combat wasn't very good apparently. This is fun so far. Oh no, out of energy. Hold on. There we go. I wonder if I can catch these little guys. I cannot. I think at some point there's supposed to be bug catching. Did I miss that? I might have. There's a chest in it for me though, so let's run back up. Aha, yeah there is. All right, run and jump. Can get some extra health if we need it, but more than that, we have a little chest which has a red rupee. It's worth 20 rupees, don't spend it all in one place. I have no plans to, don't worry. I can't quite get up here. If I run now, we're fine. I do see more though. They're not bats. I know, I think in most Zelda games, the bats are called keys. There we go, I got you. Oh, there's little blob friends coming in. Okay, up the salmon store. That is something I do need to be careful of. Oh my. Is that if our salmon is low, we're pretty much wide open to be attacked. Oh, I, I, I guess I can get up there. It feels like I've sort of gone in a circle. Apparently I've not. Whoa, guys. Back it up. Oh, got the two for one shot there. See, what's going on with all this? There's a way up here. This might be a dead end. It has a chest for me. Yeah, I didn't get too much from that. But we do get another red rupee. Making loads of money. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Hey, get off of me. And then we'll get up here. Hmm. Here they come. That was good. Nice. Oh, we're doing good. Oh, I do see another red roof in here. So this is where I need to roll into it. I think that worked. Hard to tell where I am. But yeah, that definitely worked. Nothing else in there. One last little keys right over this way. Come on, buddy. Gotcha, ooh, he dropped the blue one. 
Already up to 133 rupees, making some good progress. We made it through the caves. Are you here, buddy? I don't quite see him. Definitely wanna save that, we've made a lot of progress. Wouldn't wanna lose that. Yep. Link! Hey Link, I was hoping I'd find you here. I heard you'd, you'd gone searching for your bird around the waterfall, so I thought I'd fly around to help you look. How's your search going? Any sign of your loft wing? <sighs> oh no. Well, let's not lose hope yet. There's a place up ahead that Gruus and his gang are always hanging around. Maybe we'll find something there. Uh -huh. Huh? Who's that? Who's calling for me? Oh, sorry, Link. I got distracted for a moment. Let's go. That was odd. What is this thing in the distance? It's a giant ball of clouds. So I guess Zelda's following us around. What are you waiting around for, Link? Let's get to your loft wing. Sure, let's give it a try. Hmm. Look, there he is. Oh, the poor guy. No doubt about it. That's your loftling, Link. Okay, let's help you out, maybe. Okay, just keep cutting these open. Get the poor guy out of there. Hope he's not claustrophobic. There we go. Oh, he's not looking happy. Hey, buddy. You okay? Oh, very beautiful wings. Probably feels good to stretch them again. Ha <laughs> ha. He's cute, that's for sure. I love his coloring. Coloring. <laughs> we should hurry, Link. Now that your loft wing is free, you should fly to the ceremony. Oh my. But before you go, I have to ask you something. I I heard this voice a few moments ago. Did you hear it too? It's been happening a lot lately. It's the strangest feeling. Almost like someone is calling out to me. Have you ever wondered what's beneath the clouds? Some say that it's an empty, barren place, or even that there's nothing at all down below. But I just have this feeling that they're wrong. Some of Father's old texts talk about a place called the surface. The old tales describe a whole world under there, far more vast than Skyloft. The thing is, no one's ever been down there to see it, and our loft wings won't fly through the cloud barrier. But I can't help imagine the wild things that might be waiting below. Someday, I want to see for myself. Well then hopefully you can. Oh, sorry, Link, we don't have time to talk. Let's get going. Look, your bird's waiting for you. Just leap off the edge and press down. Don't worry about falling. Your bird will catch you for sure this time. All right, I'm willing to try again. But if I fall to my doom this time, I'm not gonna be happy. All right, buddy, let's go. Whoa. So I press down. And here he comes. Whoa. We're flying. So how does this work? Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I love it. This is so cool. Link, let's run your bird through the basics just to make sure he's not hurt. You can fly your bird in any direction. When it's headed upwards, it'll slowly lose speed. Gotcha. When you want to speed up, direct your bird upward to gain altitude, then drop it into a fast dive. So again, gain some altitude, then dive to speed up. Those are the basics of getting your bird up the top speed. So how's he handling? Do you think he's flying all right? Uh, yep, so we can steer. I can hold A to ascend, and then we can dive down. 
Very cool. Oh, you can sli slow down a little bit just like that. There's some other stuff. Tilt L left or right to turn. Press A again to ease altitude. While you're riding your loft wing, you can press right anytime. Yeah, that's what I was saying. You can also charge, which is an attack that also gives you a burst of speed. Okay, so charging like that, you can slow down. Yep, that's basically what we're learning. Gotcha. So let's charge again. So you have three of those, which I'm guessing slowly refill over time. Yep. Well, that's a huge relief. I don't know about you, Link, but your loft one looks like he's flying great. My father and the others are probably worried about your bird, so let's go give them the good news. All right, off we go. <laughs> your loft thing really is amazing, especially considering everything the poor guy's been through this morning. I'm going to fly back and tell father what happened. All right, sounds good, thank you for your help. Oh no, here we go again. Well, well, if it isn't Link. Word around the plazas, you found that dumb bird of yours. Well, that's just great, because you and your dumb bird can't tell time. All the pre-race warm-ups me and the guys did were for nothing. Now I'm all stiff. We've been waiting forever for the race to start, and the delay it, and they delay it for you? I don't get it. Big Flake gets special treatment? <laughs> You're almost a man, and yet you still can't seem to go anywhere without Zelda. I bet you can't even decide what to have for lunch on your own, huh? I mean, peanut butter and jellies are good. And don't think we haven't noticed the smug looks. Ooh, Zelda and I are best friends. We go everywhere together. Ugh. You think you're pretty suave, don't you? Well, don't you? Bruce has been going on forever about how he's gonna be the one to be with Zelda. He's really got this pompadour and a ruffle about her. <laughs> I hate to break it to you, but today's the day I bust up this adorable little fantasy land you're living in. Zelda's playing the role of the goddess at today's ceremony, and I'm gonna be the one to claim the sailcloth. When I heard that she made it herself, man, no way was I gonna let some scrawny clown snatch that prize from me. Oh yes, that sailcloth, Zelda's sailcloth, will be mine. <laughs> oh man. I bet she was thinking about me when she was stitching it. Yep, I can see it now. First, I win the big race, and then Zelda and I finish the ceremony together on the Satchia. Just the two of us. It'll be our special moment alone. Nobody is stopping me and Zelda from having our moment. Oh, it's so real I can, I can see it. <laughs> oh yeah. Cruz, Cruz, behind you. Right behind you. What? Can't you two see I'm in the middle of... Uh-oh. <laughs> Care to explain just what you meant by our special moment alone? I, uh, nothing big really, just, just, like, yeah, I was just telling my buddy here how glad I was he found that red bird of his. Boy, am I looking for, forward to a fair race. Anyhow, later, Zelda. Look for me during the race. I'll be the one pulling off all the dangerous moves. Groose is something else so far, isn't he? <laughs> hey, Groose, wait up! And his little lackeys. Did you hear that guy? A fair race? Yeah, the chances of that happening are just about less than zero. Either way, don't let those fools get you down, Link. Just get out there and fly the best you can. I know you've got these guys beat, and deep down, I think you do too. Yeah. That's the spirit, Link. Trust me, you can win this. Hey! The wing ceremony will now begin. Participating students, please assemble. Looks like it's race time. Good luck, Link. Oh my, I'm a little nervous. They are flying like rockets. That's cool. It's finally time. We have our loft wing. Get ready to race. <clears throat> hey! Your attention, please. At last, we are ready to begin the wing ceremony. I was beginning to worry that we'd have to proceed without Link, but luckily, that is no longer a concern. I'm glad you could all make it. Before we start, I'll explain the rules for today's competition. 
I have attached a small statuette to this bird, who will then release to the skies. On my signal, dash from the starting line and dive off the ledge. Once you are in the air, mount your loft wing. Remember to call your bird promptly with down once you dive off the edge. Whoever catches the bird and claims the statuette will be this year's champion. Those are the rules. Simple enough, I should think. But do you need to hear them again? No, wait, I didn't mean to, I meant to, Very well. Listen close this time. Okay, I heard them the first time. I'm sorry. Nope, we're good. <laughs> Excellent. As well, as you well know, today's champion will graduate to the next class, bringing him one step closer to knighthood. He will also receive a gift from the young woman chosen to play the role of the goddess in the year's, year's ritual. The day is a special day for many reasons, but it is also the 25th anniversary of our fine institution. To celebrate the occasion, today's champion shall also receive his gift high atop the statue of the goddess. I hear the young woman performing the role of the goddess this year has crafted the gift herself. And as you all know, the role of the goddess this year will be performed by <laughs> the lovely Zelda. <laughs> Let's see your finest flying out there. Show me just how hard you've been practicing. Also, I want to see good, clean flying. Anyone called interfering with other riders will answer to me. Cool. That goes double for you, Groose. Hey. All right, gentlemen, line up. At my command, the competition will begin. Let's get the flying. It's just me and Groose and his friends. Run, 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 run. Yeah. Luckily, we're a faster runner. Oh my, I'm a bit nervous. Okay. So let's hope I can catch up to these guys. Already sort of forgetting the controls a little bit. But remember, if we go up, then we can dive down and really catch some speed. Oh, it's going right for me. It's going right for me. Oh, no, I almost got it. Come on, where are you? Oh, geez. This is crazy. Oh, I almost have it. So close, I'm on it, caught it! No, wait, almost there! Hey, don't you know this is my day to get all the glory? Oh my, not good, not good. Hey, rude. Yeah, you heard him. Let's see how you fly with this egg on your face. Oh gosh, egg on my face, that's not good. Whoa, the thrown eggs. I don't know how to dodge it. Okay, that works. Get out of my way, guys, I have a place to be. So we need to be moving all over. Right now, right now. Oh, we're so close. You got the bird statue at. It proves your victory today. Wait till Zelda sees this. Piece of cake. Even with eggs flying towards us. We didn't scramble. <laughs> Link. Oh my. Oh, here she comes. Catch her. Don't worry, I'm fine. <laughs> You're great flying, Link. Congratulations. Now we'd better get on with the ceremony. How cool was that? So Groose made it tough, but not too tough. Link, hand me that bird statuette you grabbed in the race. I must offer it to the goddess. Great goddess, guiding light and protector of our people, grant us your blessing and mercy as I act in your stead during the ceremony. Valiant youth who crossed victory at the celebration of the bird folk in accordance with the old ways, I now bestow the blessings of the goddess upon you.
the blessings of the goddess drift down from the heavens aloft to sail, which I now pass on to you. Oh, wow. You got the sailcloth. Now you can jump from any height without fear of, of a painful landing. It smells nice, too. <laughs> okay. Like, quick goofing. This is supposed to be a sacred ritual, remember? You know, they say that the goddess gave the sailcloth to her chosen hero long ago. Of course, the one you're holding isn't the same one. I've been working hard to finish making a sailcloth in time to give it to today's champion. I'm really glad I got to give it to you, Link. Make sure you take good care of it, okay? Will do, of course. <laughs> Thanks for making it up here to do this with me today like you promised, Link. <laughs> My pleasure. Now, we really should finish up this ritual. You do know what happens at the end, right? Not really. Really? Huh, I thought you would have figured it out by now. Uh, you have to jump off the statue. Look down, see that big round design on the courtyard below? To finish the ceremony, you need to drop down right into the center of it. Leap off the edge here, right before you hit the ground, press ZR to open up your sail, sail, sail cloth. It's a little bit of a tongue twister. Just how brave are you? If you were really fearless, you'd wait until the last second to use your sail cloth. So, ready to jump? <laughs> oh, not again! How many times is she gonna push us off the ledge today? Uh? Okay, so let's center up with it as much as we can. As we're getting closer, now! Not bad, not bad. Made it down in one piece, that's good. <laughs> that was perfect, you're amazing, Link. Thank you. <laughs> you know, Link, seeing as you how you won today, and with the weather being so nice. You think maybe you'd like to, you know, go fire on the clouds together? Aw, oh, I'd love to. Oh, that's so sweet. They're just flying around. Link, hey Link. Today was amazing, watching you in that race and performing the ritual together. I'll always remember this. It really was wonderful. I'm glad she had a good time. You know, Link, there's something I've been meaning to talk to you about. Whoa, uh-oh. What in the world was that? What is that? Oh my gosh. Tornado. How's the tornado just come out of nowhere? Hold on tight. What's going on? We're gonna get sucked in if we go too close. No! Ah, Lake! Oh my gosh, we can't get in there. What in the world just happened? Oh no, we're back in the dream again, aren't we? Link? What is that? Who is that? I'm waiting for you. The time has come for you to awaken. You are vital to a mission of great importance. Link. Oh no. Oh, hi Zelda. <laughs> I guess we're falling together. <laughs> oh no! 
The tooth monster. Oh, was it all a dream? Ah, you're awake. Oh. When your loft wing carried you back, you were limp and unconscious. I feared the worst. Fortunately, you don't appear to have any serious injuries. For that much, we can be grateful. It did happen. Which means Zelda's really gone right now. We don't know where she is, do we? But Link, where is Zelda? She was with you, is she not? What's happened to my daughter? This is not good. It was going so well, too. A black tornado, you say? Hmm. That was no ordinary storm. <laughs> you must not push yourself. You're still recovering. Tell me, when you saw Zelda today, did anything about her seem... off? I see. She was talking about the surface then, and you've been dr you ha you've been having dreams of a great mission. How interesting. I'm sorry. I was lost in thought there for a moment. It's all very strange, but I doubt there's much of a connection between these things. I'm concerned for Zelda, but as long as she's with her Loftwing, I'm sure she'll be fine. Either way, Daybreak is yet to arrive. It would be very difficult to spot one girl and her bird in the dark of night. It would be also, it would also be very dangerous. Rest now, Link. Zelda's going to be fine. She's out there alive. I know it. I have to take your word for it. But I'm very worried. What was that? Are we still in a dream or what? What is going on? So Zelda's missing. We have no idea where she is. And now there's a weird noise happening outside our door. <laughs> I'm a little worried to say the least, but it's been quite the adventure already so far today. So I think that might be where we leave it off. This has been one amazing opening to this game. This game has a really interesting story so far and I'm really getting into it. So I'm really excited to explore more in the next episode of The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD for the Nintendo Switch. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.